you don't know what's going on you could be dealing with a scorpio the scorpio got the same card in the same position here you could be dealing with a scorpio check out that reading if you want all right sad right now there is this energy of unknown you have no idea where you're heading to you have no idea about what's going on with this connection fears are taking over your um, logic uh, your emotions are deep you're going through an emotional cycle you're feeling very deep for the person that you're in separation with there's no communication you're left in the dark but yes i would tell you that there's a lot of unrealistic fears that you have right now a small issue doesn't have to be small could be something very big that you're going through but i think you're over analyzing and overthinking the situation and it's all playing in your head past experiences are um, getting this fear even more deeper a lot of fear stress anxiety around a situation with a person that you're not in touch with or that you've had a break or separation with this could be in relation to a reconciliation you may not know if you're ever going to reconcile with this person or not or what's going on you probably feel this person's in a third party situation you probably feel that they're you know cheating on you whatever but a lot of fears coming from your side about wanting to have a reunion with someone okay but guess what this person's coming towards you okay someone's coming towards you with a reconciliation it's your fears the moon card usually talks about someone who's being very negative okay and they always think about the worst outcome and that's what you're doing but this person's coming towards you okay this person wants a reconciliation with you that's what's going on you've been doing this this has been in your head for, a, for quite a long time i'm i'm getting and probably in the nights it's getting even worse thinking over the worst what can happen or what this person's doing because they haven't reached out but they are they'll probably be reaching out any time because they have the night of wands here All right. How do you see yourself in this connection, Sagittarius? How do you see yourself in this connection, Sagittarius? How does this person see themselves in this connection? Hmm. You need to make a choice, Sag. You need to make a choice. You feel a very strong soulmate, twin flame connection with someone out here, okay? And you're at a crossroads right now. You need to make a very, very logistic decision, okay, of whether you want this person or not. You don't know. You don't know what to do right now. Probably you're thinking very, very um, emotionally. You could be dealing with someone who was not wanting to be emotionally invested into this connection, okay? But uh, you want to communicate with this person, okay? You definitely want to move things forward. but you are not sure about whether you want to commit to this person or not the person you are dealing with on the other side here this person definitely wants to come in towards you with an apology you're both showing up as you both want to talk to each other okay you both want this reconciliation you both want to get back to each other but you on the other hand here are more indecisive than this person this person wants to come in towards you they want to start an emotional cycle with you okay and there are chances that this person will come and communicate with you you want to communicate i think but you're holding back communication okay because you don't want to invest into this connection right now you're still procrastinating because again i'm getting that you don't know what to do it's a major choice out here do you want to get back to this person do you still want to reconcile or not it's a love it's a love This is a very strong connection here. You can't shake this off. It's very divinely protected. That's why you are at a crossroad. Yes, you. You want to talk to them for sure. You want to talk to them. You want forward moment. You want something committed with this person. The problem here is you could be. I think you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. That's what the problem is. You don't trust them. See again with the moon here, right? Trust issues, insecurity. This person has made you feel very insecure within the relationship. So now you're like, I don't know. You could have to choose between two lovers, or you could have to choose in a decision about whether you have to make a choice. Is what I'm getting here, okay? And that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting probably for this person to come approach you, or you're just waiting for this person to come, uh, waiting for you to make a decision. 
that was a little confusing. All right. Uh, let's see. How do you view this person, Sag? How do you view this person that you're dealing with? How do you view this person? You view this person as an attention seeker? You view this person as someone who gives attention to everyone? And you probably view this person as someone you had an ending with, okay? See? A lot of backstabbing and betrayal. That's how you see them. But you see them as someone who gives to other people or someone who's an attention seeking whore. That's not what I meant, but it's just someone who needs a lot of attention or who gets a lot of attention from other people or who just likes a lot of attention from other people because of which you had an ending with this person, okay? Or there was a lack of public recognition from this person. Yeah, because this person could be someone in the public eye. How does this person view you, Sagittarius? How does this person view you? How does this person view you? This person views you as someone who thinks they are a waste of time. They view you as they, this person views you as someone who you think that I hope you understand what I'm saying. Did I get it right? This person views you as someone who's moving away from them. Yeah, they see you as moving away from them. You don't want to do it, but they see you as someone who's just getting away. You've distanced yourself mentally and physically from this person. You could be at a distance from them, but this is you creating that distance on purpose. It's like you have no choice but to do that. And they see you doing that. They see you as someone who's just walking away because you waited forever. Okay, they see you as someone being very patient all this while, but now you're giving up because your your patience, you know, it's like literally like you're running out of patience. You're no longer being uh, able to... Uh, persevere this connection because you, this person has made you wait for a very long time for things to come into fruition and they see you as walking away they see you as moving on okay because something's a burden for you okay they see you as someone who's probably uh, very burdened okay or someone who's at least ending a cycle because this was a cycle that was becoming more of a um, burden and a stress and um, something that was becoming very difficult to deal with they also could see you as someone who was doing all the work in the relationship on the connection okay they definitely see that all right, why is all this happening? What led to this? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Yeah, you're done. You're fed up waiting for this person, okay? You're done waiting for justice to come and you're done waiting for things to be fair and balanced here. Someone out here, I think um, you want things to be fair, you want things to be balanced here and you want this person to come towards you with something more practical, logical, but something that you deserve, okay? You want this person to just balance things out. Reciprocity, okay? And... Uh, you're walking away. That's what's happening here. You have the feelings for this person here, but you're no longer waiting because you feel you waited enough. Something's just too slow moving out here. Okay. You don't want to do this, but again, I'm getting th that energy of where sad you don't want to. You're still invested into this person, but you're waiting for this person to reach out. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. You don't want to, but something's just taking forever to work out, okay? And I see you as walking away. You're, you've done, you're done waiting. You've manifested this person, okay? This person could be living at a distance from you. This could be a long-distance relationship. But someone out here where who's made you wait forever, okay? And you just feel your ships aren't coming in. And you're walking away with a very heavy heart. You're trying to be uh, trying to act cool you're trying to behave like nothing's happened you're okay without this person but you're actually trying to sneak away you're trying to fool yourself and no one else out here Sanj. that's why all this is happening knight of swords i keep seeing that someone's rushing in they don't want you to get away i think this person realizes that they made you wait forever what action will sagittarius take towards this person what action will sagittarius take towards this person Yeah. You have a very strong soulmate connection with this person, okay? A very strong soul tie connection. The lovers and the six of cups here. You realize this connection, okay? And uh, there's a huge difference between you guys, okay? There can be a huge uh, energetic difference. Religion, caste, age, 
whatever something is very significantly different between you guys okay and you realize that this is a very strong connection you can't shake this off but there's so much of disappointment that this person has caused in this connection here you have no choice but to just move on is what i'm getting here you're constantly crying over spilt milk this person something has left a bad taste in your mouth and i feel you look at this connection in a very negative light although you feel the connection but it's like you have no but you're just very upset about this you're grieving this loss constantly you're constantly probably thinking that this person could have handled things more differently and i feel you're choosing to walk away you're choosing to walk away what action will this person take towards sagittarius what action will this person take towards sagittarius What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? Yeah, see this person, some, they're not doing anything about it, right? That's why you're walking away. This person is just thinking a lot about the situation, stressing about it. You're on their mind on a constant basis. Sag. They're having sleepless nights about what the fuck they did. All right, they can't sleep at night. They're constantly worrying, they're stressed. But the problem here is, that they're just this is all self-inflicted okay they can take action but they're not because they're choosing to sit there like okay that didn't work out you know or or more like crying over what didn't work out rather than coming towards you and taking action they're more like i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done this remorse regret guilt okay a lot of it and they're ready to end the cycle here but i feel they're, they're still not taking any action they're still going to take some time before they come towards you because they're still in that position of where like i don't know what to do this person's very overburdened could be overburdened uh i feel this is someone who's going through a lot on their own you feel that they're having a good time because with the moon here i feel that you have a lot of doubts about what this person's doing but such that's all bullshit they're not having fun they're not enjoying they're not with anyone else this person is just going through hell they're going through hell i just have to say okay they're going through hell they feel they can't do anything about the situation because i feel this person just feels that you're moving on or they just feel that um you've given up on them they feel like you see them as a waste of time okay and this is something that's becoming too much for them to handle you're not doing anything about it they're not doing anything about it you're moving on is what i'm getting okay although you love this person you have you 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 miss them but you're like i'm not going to do anything about it because there's too much of disappointment and grief okay a loss here you're grieving a loss this person out here is stressing the shit about what they did okay they know they messed up big time but action wise i still don't see them taking any action towards you because they're still at the end of a cycle it's still going to take some time sage before they come towards you okay uh what is the outcome okay beautiful so looks like they are going to end the cycle and come towards you in the near future knight of cups and the magician here see they we already have the page of cups is what they're doing right so they were already always already thinking about doing it yeah they want to apologize and they want to come towards you see they're progressing from that in the near future if you don't continue don't speak to them sad if you're going to communicate with them they're probably just going to be like okay well you know that's fine I messed up and I got away with it. Don't let them go through this cycle. Okay, they're very close to end in that cycle. The moment they end the cycle, it may take some time, but let them go through this. The moment they go through this, this person is coming is coming towards you. You know why, Sag? Because you manifested them. You did. You manifested this person back, and they're coming towards you with a love offer, with the Knight of Cups. This is not only an apology, but this is more like a love offer, wanting to open up to you, wanting to commit to you. This is someone who's going to sweep you off your feet. Okay, they have a lot of love for you, like loads. Okay, but yeah, they're coming towards you, and you've manifested this. Your manifestations are coming to reality. Stay put, sad wherever you are. Focus on your work. Focus on your career. Focus on your goals. With the five of cups here, I'm seeing this you as someone who's just ready to see what's on the other side. You're moving on, but moving on in a way where you cried over spilt milk. Okay, you're no longer wanting to um, let the situation bother you anymore. Okay, because you're doing that, that's why they're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. Okay, but you just let them end the cycle, and that's when they're gonna come towards you. Do not reach out, even if you feel like don't cry over it. Okay, it's good to cry, right? Accept that something didn't work out, and it's okay to keep moving on or moving forward. I'm not saying move on, move forward at least. Okay, but law of attraction. Do you? Don't worry. 
be in that position of where it happens, happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It wasn't meant to be, okay? The moment you think like that, the moment you're in that vibration and that energy, that's when they're coming in, okay? And you're, that's how your manifestation is going to work. It does. It does. Anyways, your manifestations, manifestations are coming into reality. So have patience and uh, be very slow with the progress. No uh, expectations, okay? And uh, don't force anything. Just let it happen at divine timing, okay? So that looks beautiful. That's what I have for you, Serge. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.